Brownfields are those sites in our community that are vacant, underutilized, really not benefiting the community that may or may not have uh, environmental conditions. So there's kind of perceived risk there for those properties. And in the Brownfields work that we do, we're kind of helping communities and our clients identify those sites and really take them from blighted, dilapidated pieces of our communities into back into beneficial reuse for our community. One of the things I love about Geosyntech is that we have this impressive amount of technical capacity. And so the really challenging sites that we find in Brownfield's work, because if they were easy to do, somebody would have already done them. And so Brownfield's kind of by, by nature are, are the challenging sites in our community. They're the sites that people have shied away from. And I think it really just blends very well with our skill set and kind of our experience across the company of really tackling very challenging sites. And there's a, a whole life cycle that we look at for these properties, I mean, right? They were the history of those sites and the industries that may, or, that may have been there that caused contamination, the identification of those sites within a community or with a private developer or an, a regulatory agency that's looking at how do we fix this problem here? And a lot of times we, you know, as we're gathering that data and helping them come up with a plan, it does include a remedial action. So that might include vapor intrusion mitigation systems, which is a real specialty at Geosyntech. But it might also include more advanced on-site remedial actions. We do so much here at Geosyntech as a company across, you know, contamination types and remedial action types I really haven't encountered yet. Um, a challenge that we don't have somebody that's expert in. One of the things I'm most excited about being a, a team member at Geosyntech is we really, we have the folks to bring the, the solutions to those challenges.